Hello, hello, everybody. I hope you're well. So plans got changed. We were supposed to start Sarah Boone today. However, they didn't finish jury trial until this afternoon. And they had some hearing motions this morning that I listened to. And so it's delayed and we start Sarah Boone. I hope you'll join me. Give it a few minutes. Give it a try. Maybe you'll like it at um, 12 p.m. Eastern, Thursday and Friday, probably end up um, finishing around 6 or 7 p.m. Eastern. So look out for that. Today, this is a members only, and we are doing, sorry, writers here, and he wants me to play with them. I went to see Rory after I uh, had a nap. I watched Sarah Boone, got caught up, had a nap, went to get yeah, watch, uh, see Rory and Brianna, and brought some take-home turkey that I missed from my daughter's place uh, with my dad and I being ill. Um, and then walked Ryder, brought him with me to give her a break. And now he wants attention because I'm live, of course, or recording rather. Ryder, come say hi. Come say hi to everybody. Anyway, so today is uh, going to be a pick up a deck, pick a, a stack. Uh, and we're going to do what does 2025 look like for you? It's very general, of course. It's not a one on one reading. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. And uh, Try to see how it may or may not fit in uh, your situation. You could pick more than one pile if you feel called to. Um, anyways, I hopefully it'll be something that you'll find interesting. I won't make them too long. And I also wanted to let you know that I'm going to do my best to get it uploaded if I can. i got to do dishes tonight, depending on Ryder. Uh, something, a little quick video about the uh, uh, tomorrow's, sorry, 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 sorry. Tomorrow's uh, October 18th astrological events are pretty phenomenal. Really great for manifesting. So I just want to talk to you about that. I got to take a sip of water. Excuse me. And uh, that'll be members only as well. And then tomorrow morning, I'm going to do a video preparing for Sarah Boone's trial to just inform everybody who may or may not be aware of the little ins and outs of that case. And then I'm going to do a, a reading that I'll premiere at 4 p.m. So if you're with me watching Court Sarah Boone, you can watch it right after we're done. But I'll premiere around 4 p.m. Uh, Eastern for those that aren't watching the trial. The Menendez brothers, uh, they had a press release. They may get out of uh, prison after serving 35 years for killing and murdering their parents. There's new evidence that has come out that they were sexually assaulted and they've already third, served 35 years. So they're trying to appeal to the justice system to have them released. So we'll watch that press release a little bit of it and I'll do a reading on what will be the results or outcome of that. I have a pretty strong sense already uh, that they're going to get out. But anyway, let's... Uh, have fun with that. I hope to see you with Sarah Boone. But now for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the camera on the table. I'm going to shuffle three piles. You can pick one and two or one and three or all three or three, whatever uh, is calling to you and see what the cards have to say for what 2025 will bring you. What, it, what does it look like for you? And I hope everybody that's watching is uh, still a member. I appreciate you all. I know a lot of these were gifted. Hopefully, um, we'll get some value out of these memberships and these videos. And if you're just still a subscriber, that works as well. I appreciate you all. And I hope to get you get some value out of these cards and uh, out of these readings, rather. And uh, we'll see you soon. Love and light. Thank you for being here. I'm just going to move the camera angle. Okay, everybody, we're back. And again, my apologies for Ryder in the background. Just see, I got a few cards here that don't belong. I am so sorry. Um, that's just always the way it works with Ryder, but he's a beautiful dog. Some of you may recall from when uh, he used to be on camera with me more often. He's sweet as can be. So I'm just going to pull uh, one or two here of this uh, deck. It's uh, Okay, for pile one, energy seems a little bit particular, and that's fine, because these are sort of hard-hitting energy deck, a uh, deck, hard-hitting energy deck, uh, very spiritual from Kyle Gray. So we've got one for each pile here. 
I'm going to pull, uh, I, this is call it Baron Reed's deck. Um, oh my gosh. I've got all these cards mixed in. Um, my goodness. Uh, if you're interested in knowing the decks, I will look them up. I'm drawing a blank right now and timestamp them below. I know I should know, and I used to, but I i don't know. <laughs> I'm not one that really remembers movie names, song, band names, like details of movies. I just, I don't know. I don't know what to say. These cards are uh, really taking their time. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay. How's everybody doing, by the way? How's everybody doing? We've got three for this one. Okay. We're going to go with the flow. That's the whole uh, go with the flow. How's everybody doing? I hope you're well. Didn't mean for that to turn over, but or that one either. This three in this one. Mm -mm -mm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Look at this. These decks. I apologize. Usually, uh, don't. That does not normally happen. I don't know what uh, or why. I did not. Uh, they're so messy. They're in. A, I guess because they are. Because I have not used them in so long. These ones. It's because they're in a basket, and I get, was carrying them upstairs because I was going to do a reading up there when my dad was here. But I just wasn't feeling well enough. But anyway. Um, they, I think they're just sliding in and out of each other in the, I don't, cause I have not used them in such a long time. Um, okay. And I'm pretty good at putting them back together. Whoops, 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 whoops. Start over. Let's get some more over here. Anyways, you can fast forward if you want, if you don't want to watch this. In fact, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause. You can, uh, you can, I'll pause until uh, you're ready to pick and I'll organize them so that you can see them in full a little bit better, spread them out. And uh, yeah, so you don't have to watch me shuffle because it's getting a little, a little bit much, I think a little long. Okay, we are back. I've shuffled and added a few decks um this deck is they're all oracle decks that i've added uh so there's one two three four five decks and however many cards flipped one two or three that's what i went with so five oracle decks and then i'm going to confirm with tarot and then other cards and uh so just i'll stop moving now just focus in on which of the piles you want to, uh, maybe I should put a crystal on just to make it uh, a little bit uh, easier um, when I set them aside to recall, or so you'll know that this is your pile. Okay, so pile one, pile two, or pile three, I'll just pause and let pick as many or whichever one you feel um, called to and uh, hopefully you'll get something from the reading. Okay. Okay, pile one, here we go. Let me put this crystal back. Let's see what these cards are revealing. This is a soul star activation, fulfilling soul contracts, remembering who you are. Take a look at the cards, see if anything resonates. If something sticks out or whatnot, you feel free to pause the video. Oh man, this one is, there's three in here. I did not realize three, the mystic rose. Compassion, devotion, humility, humanity, and grace. I feel like you've been through a hard time, held. Whoops. So trying to get used to this camera. Sorry. So, uh, sureness of the soil. Unseen helps support community. 
So whatever it is, this is a major uh, spiritual awakening, this pile, pile one. I've got uh, through a few more to, to read. And then, like I said, I'll pull the tarot. But you're obviously coming out of an incredibly challenging tar time that is you've been initiated now into coming out of a really, really hard time into uh, it's time. You must be sensing and feeling like change is upon you. Um, and it is because whatever it is that um, however this relates to you personally or in work or in relationships, um, but there you're feeling pulled to do something and that's really guiding you uh, towards fulfilling your soul contract. And it's just to remind you because there's obviously some fear and I get this reading completely. This is also probably for me out of the three, I'm just guessing um, that you're unheld by, you're held by spirit, by your ancestors, by the other realm. You're supported in the light by the divine God, spirit, whatever word you want to use, your ascended masters, your angels, your fairies, whatever works for you. You're, you can, you just know, and you're probably seeing the support or feeling the divine support. Um, they have so much love for you and compassion. Um, and they, they recognize that you've been devoted to healing, to healing your heart, uh, that you've really, really elevated yourself spiritually, that you recognize um, humanity's, you know, challenging you know, times for everybody and that you still, you released and forgave and overcame so much pain and trauma. Uh, and, and now you're elevated in this mystic, beautiful light being that is full of compassion and devotion, humility, humanity, and grace. And they support you and they applaud you and they uphold you. And this new direction you will also be supported in. And I, I really feel like they're connected, you know, your pain that you had to go through led to you being a more compassionate person, more loving and more willing to give more heart centered. And that is why you had to go through what you had to go through because this, this is your soul's part of your soul mission is to bring more love, compassion, humility, human devotion and grace to the world. I, I really believe. Yeah. You've come from rock bottom and they're really rewarding you from having risen from a really challenging time and come out. Yeah. So, okay. Indecision in reverse. So I think right now validation, this is the validation you might've been asking for this. You might've been asking for this validation because you've been unsure. You've been unable to focus, you know, you've just come out of this hard time. You might've walked away, uh, from this really challenging time where you didn't know which way to go. You have no focus. You're feeling really ungrounded. And so this reading is to tell you if you're not sure <laughs> if you're feeling this change coming, if you're feeling that you're about to be activated and remember your soul's calling, if that hasn't happened already for you or in the recent past, it's coming. And that, you know, you are moving out of this rock bottom. You are, overcoming um but you've got to know that you're being held know that you're supported let's get some clarifiers let's get some clarifiers please so i really feel like you're really not sure right, right now you feel lost a little bit um uncertain as to what your future looks like um, not able to make decisions, but you've been asking for some validation because I think you intuitively feel like I think I opened up with that. Yeah, that is time to expand. That Ten of Swords is the end of a very painstaking, you know, that's a repeat, you know, of what we said, like you rock bottom. Like Ten of Swords is always what I consider like a backstabbing. Like you were down and out and somebody really went after you and brought you down and tried to get you down and they were successful and you really hit rock bottom. But again, this had a purpose. This was part of your soul contract. And now you're moving on your three of wands. You're ready to expand your horizons and move on into some new direction. 
you know, the two of wands is having to make a decision and you plant one foot forward after the one of wands, which is this inspired new idea. Then you standing at the precipice and you decide to take a step forward with the two of wands. The three of wands is now even expanding further out into the world. You're sort of waiting for, okay, I took the step. I took the step. Now can I get some validation? And if you haven't taken the step, you need to take the step because the validation only comes after you have faith that you'll be supported to follow your instincts and step out into the world with whatever you're feeling called to do, to follow your instincts, not to worry about money. You're feeling very ungrounded, not stable, not wise, not emperor. Like you're not feeling like this is you're, you're like, I don't know. You're feeling like you can't handle this, that you don't have the resources. You don't have the wisdom. You don't have the business savvy to do this. And spirit's here to say, that is not true. You're stopping your own growth with your worries. And that they're here to tell you that you're, you're supported. This is part of your soul contract, whatever. And however, this is resonating for you. And so you have to step forward in faith, in blind faith. That's the fool card. Four of Pentacles. Yes, you're feeling unsure. Keeping, you know, Four of Pentacles is like not open to change, worry, concealing, holding money back, holding resources back, holding, just not open, fear of pain, you know, reluctant to let people in, um, guarded, right? Caged and guarded. And there, this has to do with you having been burnt in the past. Knight of Wands. Yeah. So, they're asking you to embody the energy of Knight of Wands. Take some inspiration and run with whatever's inspiring you and make fast, you know, action, you know, make change happen. Take a step. Take a step with the fierceness of the Knight of Wands, which is fast moving, inspired action. <clears throat> Justice. So, yes, you're not feeling balanced. You feel, I feel like this is, you know, reminder that you're delaying your justice this is you this is time to reap this is time to turn the scales around and look back at what you went through as in bye-bye it's gone and i i i'm resurfacing whole i'm resurfacing balanced i have i learned from the past i'm walking away I, it's the end of the road i know it is i'm ready to step out own my power and follow my inspired action because that is my soul's calling. I will be fulfilled in that. Okay, I'm just going to get a couple more here. A couple more, please. For pile one. So you're going to start something new. You're going to head out into a new adventure in 2025. But you're being asked first to, you know listen to this reading and there we are we've got the emperor again you're holding yourself back you're being asked to take faith and take a speed run at it run towards it the chariot is fast moving goal oriented successful energy stay balanced however stay balanced and you're feeling the two cups is like you can't make a decision you're feeling stuck you're not feeling um, sure about whether you can pursue something that you really heart's desire. And so you're holding yourself back. You're delaying your justice. That's why I came in reverse. You're delaying your king of pentacles and the emperor, which is why they all came in reverse six of cups. So this might have something to do with your reminiscing about the past, which is what's holding you back. You're stuck about, Hey, in the past, this didn't work out for me, or you're too angry or hurt from the past or, uh, it could be that whatever you love is something that you wanted to do in the past. Take how it resonates. But again, you're feeling unstable. You're delaying your stability. Four of Wands in the upright is celebratory, family, stability, and you're just delaying. Um, it's, you're, it's time to take action. That's the only thing I can really say. It's time to take action. You're delaying your Queen of Cups, which is your complete fulfillment and utter happiness. And that's why the chariot is here upright. It's asking you to take charge, just like the Knight of Wands. Follow your heart. Follow what inspires you. Follow what gives you passion, which warms your soul up. And run fast, because these are fast-moving energies. It's time to go. It's time to hear this as your validation. 
it's time to follow your heart. And that's um, really important because it's really <clears throat> a sign of what the energy is astrologically. It's going to pull a couple of um, uh, well wishes cards from the angels, but astrologically it makes sense. I think we're all being called to manifest in different ways. The old is leaving this world as we know it. And that is that old, you know, having to manifest abundance on that Ferris wheel, but old systems are dying. And so must we also change the ways that we used to operate because in the new frequency, especially since that came up at the beginning that you raised your frequency in this new frequency that you're operating in. You can't manifest from the same in the same way. You're at a higher frequency. Now you have to, you can only manifest something from your heart space with passion and love, because that's why you were asked and, and, and initiated into having to heal your heart space. And I feel like that you've done that. So it's time to follow that your heart's open release all the past. And this could also mean also opening your heart up for a new relationship. So hopefully that was good for you and you enjoyed that pile one and uh, I trust 2025 will be the best, my prayers and best wishes for the most amazing 2025 pile one. Hello, pile two. Let me put this crystal back. Okay. So pile two, let's see what you got. Pile one was very interesting. Uh, You've got the energetic shift, new information, end of a cycle. You've got, I've got five Oracle packs, and then I'm going to follow up with uh, clarifying with tarot. Uh, this is open. Say yes, expand through the extremes, trust life. End of a cycle, say yes, new information. This very well could be an offer coming in the open. Uh, a change in direction is coming. It might be something that's delayed happening or you're nervous about or you don't see coming but there's absolutely a change in direction in your life coming um this is in reverse so it might be the end of you feeling unstable not feeling secure in life this is probably job related um something in the spring time is coming so it's just not quite here yet it's there is a delay over something that you want but it's coming in the spring. There is a really great community. This will be an amazing uh, community for you. I'm going to put this down here. Move these down. This will be an absolutely amazing community for you. Walking away. So you're delaying walking away. Stardust. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. So let's just see what I'm picking up. Um, from the onset, let me just try to get, um, see if I can get these all in. I'll try to hold them up for you. Okay. Pile two. Let's see. So energetic shift, new information, end of a cycle. So I really feel like this is obviously it, it, it is what it is. There is an energetic shift. There's an astrological shift. Um, Sorry, I had to take a sip. There's an astrological shift going on right now. And so you're very much, a I, I think the collective, and this was one of the themes of the file one reading, is that um, we're all sensing a new beginning is coming. We're all being asked to let go of things that don't serve us. And we're all raising our vibration. I really feel collectively. So, but I think in your case, there's going to be an offer coming in of some sort on whether <clears throat> you're trying to negotiate a business deal, uh, you've applied for jobs, you've got a, a house sale you're negotiating or you're listing your house or um, you've got a legal matter or, uh, a, 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 you know, a promotion at work or something like that. I feel like there's an offer coming in and the universe is saying it may not be what you're expecting, but be open, be open, uh, say yes, and um, expand. It's time to expand your universe. It's time to trust that you'll be protected, to trust life, that this new information, new beginning, end of an old cycle is, uh, it's here. And so say yes to it. And there, and I, it's obvious that it's not going to be what you're expecting. It's maybe come, or it may be something that you've like applied to like way long ago, or something that you planted seeds on way long ago, or you just 
I think there's an element of surprise in this, which is why they're saying being open, open and trust. This uh, will throw you off kilter. It's going to take you for surprise. You're not going to be sure where this is going to lead or what direction you're going in. Um, but you're being asked to trust because this is very, very similar to the first reading. This is the way forward. This is the star. This is the stardust. These are the shining lights showing you this is the path to take. So again, you might be really called to watch both um, readings because there's very much an overlap here. Uh, the first chakra is you uh, maybe not enough money. It could be not that it's not enough money or you're not sure because, um, yeah, I, I feel like it's not going to be enough money um, or you're not sure that there'll be enough money in it or, or something around that. I'm going to get some clarifiers in a minute. But whatever is coming in, this new change, it's coming in in the spring. And you might be the leader of a community, but it's going to take you in a totally different direction, like we said, with this being in the compass in reverse, right under the compass in reverse. Totally different connection, connections with people, people you work with, people that you live with, people in, it might be moving out of country, out of state, out of house to a different community. It could be, you know, you thought you were going to, you sold your house, you thought you were going to move to this end of the city, but there's something new caught your attention. Now you're going totally somewhere else, like that kind of thing. You didn't anticipate walking away from this direction. Like, again, something happens, new information comes in, something comes in, and you're really shifting in a way you didn't anticipate. And you, you didn't anticipate walking away from this career, from this community, from this home, from this relationship, from these people, from this job, whatever it is. But you will be walking away and starting somewhere new, something new, a new direction, uh, you're asked to be open because it's going to really, it is your future. It's you're being guided to do this. Let's get some clarifiers. What a cool reading. And um, you're not going to expect how much you're going to love these, the new community of people. So give us some more clarifiers. Yeah. Wheel of fortune. It's the karma is shifting. It's time for change. You're changing the destiny of your life. This is the destiny and, and the wheels are turning and you have one shot when the wheel is turned in your favor to take that leap. And that's what this is saying. This is your time to act on this opportunity and you must be open because the wheel will take a long time to come around again for this opportunity, but you are going to be unsure. Four cups is an offer and you're not sure if you want to take it, but at the same time, I think you're bored with where you're at because there's two meanings in the four cups, but you're not sure if you want to take it. And they're saying, yeah, think on it, meditate, contemplate, but um, it's time, it's time to, to take the chance. Absolutely time to take the chance. It, this is the meditation, deep rest after a hard time. Uh, so really get grounded, really think on it, really uh, don't miss the opportunity because this is you wondering if you want to do this. And the, 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 the message is say yes, you say yes to it. That, that, that is the, that is say yes, say yes. You are expanding your life with this. This is your destined future. This is the star card, uh, in the Oracle deck for me as a reader. Um, so it's again, very similar energy to pile one hanged man, you know, don't make a rash decision. Don't make a rash decision stop and look and change your perspective on what it could offer you. Be open to all of the possibilities. Okay. Be open to all the possibilities. Wow. This is obviously going to really throw you for a loop. <laughs> the tower, it's unexpected. You are not anticipating this. Uh, tower um, can be, uh, it, and often is positive. It doesn't feel positive. You know, you might have to really, really like overcome something to see it as an opportunity because the, you know, it's unexpected, but when you, you notice how the tower is um, got the light on it as well. This is the bolt of light is the collapse of something unexpected, but there is that fire and that spark of something new. And the hangman is when you stop and look at it and you shift your perspective, you get this illumination, this idea of how marvelous this really is. What an incredible reading. <laughs> Okay, a couple more. A couple more, please. Very interesting. 
Very interesting. I'd love to hear how this resonates. So 2025 is going to be big change for you. However, this resonates really feel for the most part, this is a, a career opportunity, but it could be moving house, changing communities, moving abroad. You know, it could be that you're being asked to move abroad, which is something you really have to contemplate that, you know, but um, take how it works for you. Um, I'm going to put those back. They were two nights because they fell out. I don't do sloppy pulls. Yeah, eight of cups. Yeah, there's the walking away again. You will walk away. You will. See, there we go. This is uh, eight of cups is you don't anticipate walking away, but that that is the walking away card. You will walk away from this, whatever doesn't serve you. You will walk away from whatever doesn't serve you. You're walking away from something you don't love or an old relationship. It could be as well. It could be that you're walking away from an old relationship. But the lovers is often about choice. It's not. It's also about not being aligned in your heart space with yourself. Your heart space is your masculine and your feminine are not in alignment. Your feminine is the more compassionate side. Your masculine is your more Aries, dominant, take action side. It doesn't have to be male. We all have dual energy, feminine and masculine, in our in our heart space, in our minds, in our in our energy fields, in our souls, and we we want to align that so it's balanced. And right here now, you're not in balance. You're not in balance, and I really uh, feel that's that's why this tower is coming in. It's being you're being offered a way to walk away from something that doesn't make your heart sing anymore that doesn't keep you balanced and it might be that it doesn't provide the financial support that you need you know it might be that that's the case as well for some of you so very cool i'm going to just take one more two more uh for advice here and see what we get the sun that's a yes that's the only yes in the card say yes Yes, yes, yes. That's I, that, that. That's exactly the punctuation I wanted at the end of this. You will not regret this decision. This is the sun is the happiest card in the deck. It's the end of being a challenging time. It's the success, happiness, joy, childlike joy, happiness, total fulfillment. That is the yes, the happiest card in the deck. So wow. That's the great way to end that reading, confirmation and validation. Thank you, Pile 2. I wish you nothing but the best for 2025. And uh, I hope this resonates. Again, this is general, so it's not specific because it's a general reading. So hope it was successful for you as far as uh, it uh, resonates. Okay, love and light. Hello, Pile 3. So what does 2025 have in store for you? Wow, the first two readings have been very powerful and similar. So don't uh, <clears throat> don't be surprised if you uh, see a repeat pattern if you pick more than one pile. The child within, <clears throat> innocence, gentleness, tenderness, aligned with purpose, crossroads, no wrong path. Wow. I mean, these readings are very, I mean, it could just be almost one reading. There are slight nuance differences, but the whole collective, I've been saying this, I think is really shifting. We're all raising our vibration. We're all being encouraged to follow our path as light workers. This is the time we're being asked to follow our true north, our soul contracts. And this, that, that's very much what the first two readings were about. Like I said, slight differences and different nuances and details, but um very similar um cards here okay so i'm just sensing that these are really upside down i don't really read oracles in eh, sometimes in reverse but i don't <clears throat> these were just upside down it's just the way i flip them over okay so we've got the child within, inner child, inner mother, innocence, gentleness, and tenderness. So this is like the Empress card. You know, you're really stepping into your own. You're powerful. 
You're at a time where you're manifesting, you're creating. It's the cosmic moon time to manifest. You are aligned with your purpose. Again, the readings, different cards, totally different cards, but the same messages are so incredible. You might have various opportunities coming up and you're not sure which way to go and spirits trying to remind you, you could choose this and this or this or this. There's about four options, but they're all going to lead here anyway. There is no wrong path or choice, so don't worry about that. Um, but you learn something here and here that you don't learn here and you don't learn here and vice versa. So what you pick up on the wisdom when you get here is different. So it's really not so bad if you bring some wisdom with you by choosing the wrong path. You have to go through some initiation to get there. It's a question of whether you're going to go through one, two, three steps, because that's the portal that opens right directly, or you're going to go through one, two, three, four, because this is the portal that opens to this. And this, when you pick first, and you only have to go through this portal to get to this, it that... Uh, they want you to see it. There's no wrong path. They want you to see it that way. Um, because you're in a time of manifesting something and um, they to be really wide open, to, to really open your mindset into how to get to here. You're probably wondering, how am I going to get to this rainbow to where I need to go? And they're saying they're leading you. Follow the trail. Follow the path because if you're looking for the signs and symbols and synchronicities, you will find how to get there. You will find the path, but you got to be wide open and you got to be watching for the synchronicities in your life. Okay. So you got to be paying attention. You got to be present in the present moment, looking for, you know, the crow that lands right after. You know, if you know your crow is your spirit or right after you start asking a question of the divine and then crow lands on your porch and cry, cry, cry. And it's like they're in the present. When you pay attention to those things, you'll notice because the synchronicities, the synchronicities trying to lead you to the path. That'll get you right to the rainbow, but it's OK if you make a wrong turn because you'll get there eventually. But you are being led to the golden path, temple path. It's time as a light worker, as a light being, to be in alignment to your purpose, aligned with purpose. You are aligned with purpose. You've overcome a lot. You're manifesting. You are currently in this manifestation empress zone. And so it's perfect time to be present. You're being guided what to do each step along the way. Ride the wave, ride the flow, be in flow, be present in the moment is to be in flow. Don't worry about the future. Don't dwell on the past. Just be in the present moment as you are manifesting. It's always good to be present and good to be um, grateful, to, good to be grateful. So you're manifesting, you're being, you're really in a time of creating dreams, following your soul's contract and uh, creating a destiny for yourself, a life of abundance in every way. It's really awesome. And, and it, it is your divine soul contract, which is a confirmation of two cards. But you haven't made a decision yet, or you will have to make a decision. Maybe you're being, you're holding back on making a decision because this was in reverse. So you're either off balance <clears throat> or you're contemplating and weighing some options these doors and you're not sure which way to go yet. So let's get some clarifiers. So are you being wide open to the symbols because of the signs, because you are being guided here. So start to pay attention to synchronicities. That's really interesting. So this one's again, the very general premise of change in life path is inconsistent through all piles, but this is a different reading from the other ones. They are all slightly, you know, different and unique in their own ways, but the same message is interesting. It's time to step into your power, to be led by inspiration, to be a leader. Yeah. To be that queen of wands, to empower others, to follow what's your passion and your dreams and to take action out of, you know, what, what, what makes you want to get up in the morning? What floats your bow? What interests you? It's time to, for a rebirth. 
it's time to it's a it's your rebirth time it's the end of this death and rebirth it's the end um but you are you need to make that decision and take that step inspired action to turn this around you need to make the decision this is in reverse you need to make the decision take action with the queen of wands because this is in reverse you're delaying your rebirth so you can have that rebirth so you can manifest so you absolutely need to make a decision that's the you need to make a decision interesting you need to make a decision to own it to step through it to say you deserve it you are delaying your your wish will be fulfilled they're saying your wish will be granted but again this is in the delay three of cups you're delaying celebrating you will celebrate you will celebrate this it's time to the devil you're in your head you don't think you're worthy you don't think your dreams are going to come true your prayers won't be answered you can't do this you can't handle it i'm not enough whatever these limiting beliefs are that's what's holding you back it's time to uh shift that you know it's holding you back it's time to release it it's time to release it and uh, i'm going to actually shift it open it's time to release it. it's time to get clear to be really clear and speak your truth to speak about what you want to see what you want to have happen be really clear about your thoughts about what you want where you're going look for those signs those symbols the owl <clears throat> okay i'm gonna ask for a couple more for clarifiers and uh cool readings very very cool readings very cool readings oh oh yeah i turned that over <laughs> Let go of the limiting beliefs in your head. Yes, you're delaying your full satisfaction and happiness. You will love this. You will love, love, love this with passion. You will be emotionally stable. You're going to just transcend in total abundance and joy. You are going to get, you're going to be celebrating with family and friends. You are going to get your wishes fulfilled, but you do have to make that decision. So I'm going to turn them this way. You will love this. One last stamp, please. One last stamp. Final thoughts from spirit or advice or page of pentacles. Something's going to come in. This is pages or messengers. Some new material beginning offer, email, thought, idea, message, text. Something is going to come in. Pages or messengers messenger could be you're manifesting you're meditating you're looking for those signs and synchronicities from spirit in the clouds in a crow in a whatever something's coming in that will be exactly what you need to hear the direction you need to take and you will need to listen and pay attention and then plant that foot exactly where that is telling you to go next which way to go next okay i hope you enjoy this pile three I hope you get the benefit out of, um, you know, it, it being something that you can resonate with. Please comment below. Feel free to watch more than one pile. And I so appreciate you. And may 2025 be absolutely a golden and a miracle year. It's definitely going to be a change for all of us collectively. Thank you for being here. Love and light.